so uh, welcome indians in this module in this module we will uh, create a wbs wbs is the work breakdown structure uh, and uh, although the whole of the structure uh, of our uh, of our schedule is considered as the wbs the work breakdown structure but uh, in the primavera in wbs tab we will add the summary tasks uh, what are the summary tasks uh, let's for example you uh, you do uh, detailed design uh, now in the detailed design you will perform several tasks uh, you will you will uh, just uh, uh, mail uh, make a topographic uh, survey you just must conduct an experiment you uh, may uh, draft a report you will prepare drawings and uh, so on and so so all of these activities uh, will come under the summary task uh, of uh, detailed design or uh, just uh, designing of the project so um, uh, and one important thing that we uh, left in the previous module uh, we uh, haven't made uh, the uh, calendar, uh, the five day work week calendar uh, as a default calendar. So what you will do, you will just enter into the project tab and in the uh, details, the project details, uh, just uh, click on the default tab and uh, select the calendar uh, and select five day work week as a default calendar. So. Uh, uh, no, uh, 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 what's, uh, what is the purpose of doing that? Uh, whatever activities you will add, uh, it will all automatically uh, select the OGB 5 day work week calendar as the particular activity calendar. You, you, don't, uh, you won't need to make uh, the activity calendar 5 day work week calendar separately. So just select this. Uh, so, uh, uh, so just uh, enter into the activities. <coughs> Right. Uh, as you can see that in the activities tab, uh, none of the activities are uh, are added as yet. So what you will do that first you will have to create a uh, WBS. So in the next module we will create a, a work breakdown structure. So how are we uh, gonna create this? Uh, you just you can see in the in these details uh, in these tabs. Uh, you are already familiar as you we have already navigated around the software. You just click on this uh, this particular tab. It is the WBS tab. So we haven't um, any added any uh, summary task as yet. <clears throat> so in the similar fashion, the uh, in a similar fashion, we have added the project. We will add the um, the summary tasks. So what are the summary tasks? We just look at the presentation. Uh, three of the summary tasks are mentioned uh, technical specification delivery plan and bid document so we will add one by one so how will we will add these uh, the summary task we just uh, click on this add button or press insert from the keyboard if you are smart enough you just you can press insert button first is the technical specification technical specification you will add you just insert further and the second is the delivery plan and further you will add the bid document now uh, there's a problem um, here it is uh, the, the hierarchy show that uh, the bid document is a part of delivery plan and the de delivery plan is a part of the technical specification uh, now uh, these uh, all, all of the three summary tasks are independent they are not the part of uh, the other any other uh, summary task so uh, what we will do that uh, we will uh, make delivery plan as a separate summary task not under the technical specification we for that we will use uh, these arrow buttons you can press left and it will move to the left you will press again uh, you will press left and it will move to the left now here uh, we have only three summary tasks what if we have a chunks of summary task like uh, we will uh, uh, make uh, almost uh, if we uh, do this uh, to uh, to the fourth level or fifth level or uh, drop down to different levels uh, there is a complexity uh, in, in, in creating those WBS and this complexity comes from the uh, project. Uh, for that particular purpose you need to just uh, consider these arrows and uh, how you will manage like 
uh, for example if i if if um, i need to make a change and uh, shift the bit document to the top i will use uh, this uh, top arrow and further i will choose this uh, down arrow to to arrange these uh, these these assembly tasks yeah so for since this um, is only for a, a tutorial uh, purpose so we have just added three tasks however we can make uh, we can just make uh, many of the assembly tasks uh, what the project holds and uh, uh, accordingly adjust those tasks uh, like uh, we can break down the tasks related to the 1.1.1 or 1.2.1 or whatever uh, accordingly we will plan this uh, the, the assembly task so uh, this is how the tasks are created and uh, we just look uh, whether these are added in the activities or not right so uh, here it is again showing that it is a part of uh, the different tasks are uh, part of each other but uh, that's not the reality again uh, i have already told you just make just refresh your uh, your software just like you refresh your computer and uh, it will come as such right so uh, that's all uh, for this module um, i hope to see you again